Ghoul, and welcome to the Halloween event of the city, the Halloween Hammer Vault, where tonight we shall celebrate stories in the style of the Hammer Horror genre. We shall see tales of terror, tales of mystery, and tales of suspense. All this and plenty of tricks and treats. Igor! Who knows what mystery may wait behind these curtains? You shall see a haunted house and a man driven to the brink of insanity. You shall see the perils of obsession. And you shall see a love story that turns frightfully supernatural. All this and plenty of tricks and treats. Igor! All this tonight to celebrate the wonder of Halloween. Igor, you repugnant little scab, get your bony ass out here. I'll drag you out by the rope you hang yourself with. Yes, master. Did you not hear me calling you, Igor? Sorry, master. I was feeding the baby. Perhaps I shall feed you to the baby, Igor. Bring me my Necronomicon. Yes, yes, I will bring you your Necronomicon. It's so hard to find good help these days. I found him in a dungeon in Transylvania. I might return him when the show is over. Yes, Necronomicon, Necronomicon. Give me that, you pissworm. And now, we enter into a tale of terror, a tale of horror. For the love of Lucifer, who's this girl? You! How dare you interrupt this vault of horror? Who are you? Christian. Christian? No, Christian. Christian Walker. He's after me. Help me. He killed Nancy. I brought in my dream. He killed her. He killed her. You're fine. You're fine, darling. No one's going to hurt you. Igor, get her. Tie her to the chair. <gasps> The electric chair, master. No, the rocking chair, Igor. Of course, the electric chair. She got away, master. Oh, you're such an idiot, Igor. I've seen dismembered zombies move faster than you. Now, we shall return uninterrupted to my vault of horror. Oh, for the love of Lucifer, what now? Well, I'll be even more damned if it isn't my old friend, Freddy Krueger. I haven't seen you since we did that tour on the midnight meat train. I say, Freddy, if you're looking for a hunchback to slice and dice, I might know someone. What is it he got? Blue's a girl, did you, Freddy? She's right over there. What are you crying for, Christian? You've met the man of your dreams. It's everything you've ever wanted, right? And now, ladies and gentlemen, we begin with our first tale of terror. Terror! Terror! And may I say, in the realm of live theater, oftentimes events can be unpredictable. And unfortunately, the actress who would be playing Mrs. Vanessa Goldman cannot make it here tonight due to ill health. And I know what you're thinking. I've chopped her up and stuffed her down a drain. But no, she's unable to make it tonight. So tonight, the role of Mrs. Vanessa Goldman shall be performed by Miss Holly Rose McCrory. And since we only landed this on her last night, she shall be reading from the script. But our first tale is a haunted house story. A tale I call Repossess. Well, as you can see, this is the master bedroom. Quite a bit bigger than the other three I made out. We've got a lovely view of the garden, and if you look out this window here, you can see a lovely curve in the river. 
Yeah, this is very impressive, isn't it? Eh? Especially like these high ceilings. Victorian, you say? Uh, Victorian style. The house was built in the 1940s with that architecture in mind. Oh, it's just like Art Deco. Oh, Archie, what do you think? There's the study you said you've always wanted to study, and we'll have a proper garden, and there's so much space for me to do hair. Yes, I saw you sizing up downstairs, you little mix, eh? So what do you think? Yes? 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 yes. All right, we'll take it. Uh, Excellent uh, choice. Yes, well, it'll be our first home together. I hope it'll be a very happy house for us, eh? Yeah. Uh, oh, are you both married? Back in August. <laughs> uh, congratulations. Uh, how did you both meet? Well, I was out at the pot here with some of my girlfriends, and uh, Archie swept me off my feet. And flew to Monaco. And flew me to Monaco, and Paris, and Prague, and one year later, I was Mrs. Archie Goldman. Oh, beautiful. Well, I can have the paperwork prepared when I'm back at the office, so if you'd like to meet, say, in the afternoon. Well, let's do that. Let's oh. do that. I must say, it's a really reasonable price. But I suppose we've got the house dip in the old housing market. Thank you for that, do we? Uh, yes, well, among other things. Oh, what's this? Other, other things? What's this now? Uh, well, this house and, well... And what? Spit it out, man. Oh, hey, quiet, Vanessa. Men are talking. Well, oh. it's to do with the history of this house. Uh, the previous owner, he... Uh, he hung himself in the hall. Hung himself? Oh, wait, wait, wait. <clears throat> it, it must have been six years ago. Maybe more. The recession was in full sweep. Raymond Rudder's business dried up. He couldn't afford the mortgage, so well, the bank repossessed his home. His wife left him. Took the kids. That's when he decided to end it all. It made quite a start in the paper. Apparently, he put a cloth sack over his head right before. He threw the rope up. Oh my god, Archie, you work in the banks. Did you know him? I don't know. No, no, of course not. It was, uh, hundreds of people, thousands even, lost their homes, uh, repossessed. Uh, it's a bloody tragic story, though. It's a terrible way to go. What? Hanging? Uh, no, uh, Raymond Rudder's suicide attempt failed. Uh, well, sort of failed. What do you mean, sort of? The raptors he had hung himself from, they, uh, uh, they turned out to be rotten with woodworm. Woodworm? What's this? Uh, eh? But it's all been fixed. Uh, the raptors have been completely restored, and woodworm completely resolved. Oh, all gone. Can't be. This is this young lad Rudder. He's crushed to death right here. Uh, no. Uh, the house came down around him and, uh, broke his back and crushed his pelvis. <laughs> He must have had any friends or family near him at the time. He didn't find him for several days after. Severely dehydrated. And half eaten. By rats? 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 Yeah. Uh, well, there is a river nearby, so I'm not sure if they heard him or they smelt him. Well, I, I never. This is, this is quite. I, I do well, apologize. I, I hope this doesn't change your view in the house. I should have told you. Well, well I, 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 I rather think it does change my view in the house. I, I have to say. I mean, a, a, a banker taking over the house of a man whose home was repossessed. Well, it, it, the whole thing just seems morbid. And that's just the way it is. No, Archie. No, you know you'd love this house, and you're going to throw that away because of some scary story. The man was eaten alive by rats, Vanessa. Rats! I don't care! This that doesn't matter now. This is the only house that's big enough for us. And you're gonna throw that away because of some man called Rudder? Oh, 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 alright, alright. I, 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 you, you make a good point. We'll take it. Come on. Oh, brilliant! I can make you so. Hi, Noon! Okay. Here it is. Mr. and Mrs. Gold.
Like I say, it's no bloody things very peculiar, is it not? What? It's all very peculiar. Archie? Archie, I got that hair ordered. Are you here? Sing the walls, Vanessa. Sing the walls. There's no one here. There's no one here, Vanessa. It's in the walls. What? I don't know. Hey! No one here, Vanessa. This is coming for me. Vanessa. Hey! It's rats. Rats? It's rats, Vanessa. It's rats. They're coming. We leave. We leave it. We're not leaving. No. Archie, I'm worried about you. I'm going to call the doctor, okay? We need to. It's Rutter. Rutter's coming for me, Rutter. There's no Rutter. It's Rutter. It's Rutter. He's coming to get me because. Archie, Archie, trust me. You need to go to sleep. Okay, I've got pills for me for the doctor, okay? From the doctor. You need to take two of these, okay? I'll go to sleep. Go to sleep. There's nothing wrong. Trust me, take that. And then we'll leave. Then yeah, we'll leave. yes, we'll leave, we'll leave. We'll go to sleep.
Thank you so much, Sharon. Yeah, that story about the guy who used to live here is really spooked him. Yeah. Well, the doctor said it might be a delayed midlife crisis, but uh, so he prescribed some pills to help him sleep, of course. Um, yeah, no, he hasn't slept in seven days. I know, I know. Oh, um, would you mind still driving him home later? Yeah? Oh, thank you, great, great. Oh, and can you say to Sally if she still wants me to do um, her hair extensions? Yeah? Great, yeah, uh, but it'll be the week after next. Is that okay? Okay then, okay. Bye, bye, talk to you later, bye. <laughs> Do you know I can still hear the screaming? It's still uh, ringing in my ears. It was good, wasn't it? <laughs> what about the rats? The rats? Oh, he's so scared of them. He, oh, he doesn't know what to do. Even when the recording isn't playing, he still hears them. Good, good. We'll keep the tip playing overnight then. Yeah. yeah. So, have you been to the doctor's yet? Yeah. I got diazepam for him. Oh, it's brilliant. Here, take them out and replace them with these. What are those? A stimulant. They'll make his heart go a dare. A few more nights of this, and his heart will explode like a water balloon. <laughs> and then we'll get the house? Just make sure he gets two every two hours. Okay, okay. Um, are you coming back tonight then? Yeah, at midnight. So be sure to keep the back door open. This is so exciting! Oh my god! Got a little time for a dalliance with the deceased? Mm. <laughs> no. Archie will be back soon, I can't. Aww. But I command him! Archie, there are no rats. Don't. Rats, rats, rats. No, no. He's not coming. Archie, there's no one. Okay? All you need to do is take two of these. Okay? Two of these. Yes, 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 exactly. They'll help you sleep. Okay? You don't have to worry.
Oggi? Oggi? He's dead! He's dead! He's dead! He's dead! <laughs> Lois, it's ours. Wait, wait. Should we call the police now? Or wait until morning? Or. Oh my goodness. Wait. Could that be? It's, it's really big. I hope something isn't wrong. Hello? James? But you're here. Your car broke. 